Hey, sorry I didn't see you there. Uh, well, welcome to Mythology Knowledge. Today, um, I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit about the underworld. So, first off, we have Hades. Hades is the king of the underworld, and he rules everything down there. His kidnapped wife, Persephone, was kidnapped from the mortal world, and now he's forced to spend half a year down in the underworld, and another half a year up in the mortal world. The first person you're probably going to see if you go to the underworld is Charon. Now, Charon, he's the, the boatman of the underworld. He takes the souls, and he takes them, and he puts them wherever they need to go. You get to the gates. The person you'll meet there is not a person. It's a three-headed dog with a serpent tail. He's got the claws of a lion, and he has snakes for manes. So, yikes. There are also three judges who decide whether or not you go to the good place, Elysian Fields, or the bad place, where you get tortured and you burn for eternity because you deserve it. Now, these three judges, their names are Radamanthus, Minos, and Akos, and they're gonna decide your fate. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I'm here to fill you in on every trait the Underworld possesses. In Homer's version, the Underworld is a dark, shadowy place where really only shadows live. Nothing at all is real there. The ghost existence is nothing but a tragic, gloomy nightmare. Later poets see the underworld as a place where the good are rewarded and the bad are punished. Now we're to Rachel M. Oh hey, didn't see you there. My name is Rachel and I'm so excited to tell you all about the myth of the underworld. To sum it all up, there are two divisions of the underworld, Tartarus and Erebus. Erebus is where the soul first goes after death, duh. And Tartarus is the deeper of the two, the prison of the sons of earth. Once the soul enters the underworld, Sharon then ferries them across the water to the adamantine gate of Tartarus. However, only souls who pay the fare with coins placed upon their lips when they die can enter the gate. Cerebus then permits the souls to enter the gate, but none to leave. Upon each soul's arrival, they are brought before three judges, who then decide their fate. Now, over to Liv for the Underworld's Geography! Hi everyone! I'm Liv and I'm going to be explaining all of the geography in the Underworld today. The Underworld is thought to have been surrounded by five different rivers. The Acheron, the River of Woe. The Cocytus, the River of Lamentation. The Phegolathon, the River of Fire. The Styx, the River of Unbreakable Oaths, where the gods took their vows. And the Lake, the, fi the River of Forgetfulness. <laughs> Past these rivers is the gate guarded by Cerebus. Now into the character analysis. Hades is the king of the underworld. Son of Cronus and Rhea, and the brother of Zeus and Poseidon, Hades ruled the underworld. Hades institutionalizes a sort of balance between good and evil by having specific places in the underworld to reward the good and punish the evil. His name technically means the unseen, so if you see him, chances are you are in the underworld. Persephone is the queen of the underworld and the wife of Hades. When Persephone was young, she was kidnapped by Hades while she was playing in a field and was brought to the underworld to be his bride. Persephone's mother, Demeter, was despaired to find out her daughter was missing and searched the entire world for her until eventually finding out about her abduction to the underworld. This made her furious, and Demeter refused to let the earth fruit until her daughter was returned. Persephone was then forced to forever spend part of the year on Earth during spring and the other half in the underworld during winter. Sharon is the chauffeur of souls. He is known to be an old, ugly, bearded man with a crooked nose. He takes the souls into the underworld to be admitted by Severus. In order to ride on his underworld ferry, you needed to pay him one obelisk coin. In ancient Greece, the dead were buried with one of these coins in their mouth. If you did not have a proper burial upon your death, your soul is forced to roam and haunt the earth for eternity. Cerebus is what many would call the bouncer of the underworld. His name technically means death demon of the dark, which is not very inviting. He is depicted as a three-headed dog, with the claws of a lion, the tail of a serpent, and a mane made of snakes. When Sharon brings the souls to his gate, Cerebus allows them in. Question number one. Who is the king of the underworld? A. Hades B. Poseidon C. Zeus or D. Robert Lynn Correct! A. You are so smart. 
Question number two. Which one of these rivers is found in the underworld? A. Mississippi. B. Styx. C. Thames. Or D. Mr. Warnke. Great job! You're so good at this. Question three. What is the mood of the underworld? A. Happy. B. Joyous. C. Wonderful. And D. Gloomy. Good job, you did so well.